Stay in the, the Group 2 Mooney Valley Gold Cup. Last year's Melbourne Cup late scratching Luna Flair started favourite with Vow and Declare and at the Baskin the next picks. Fancy man with Jamie Mott to take an outside LE. Field now set to go as Fancy Man completes it. Takes its outside gate. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Field of 14 ready. Right clear. Racing at the 2,500 metres in a beautiful line too. Knight's Order jumped well with Fancy Man and Cleveland. Kicking up on the inside, Regal Power is going to lead the race. And also in that group of horses, Mount Popper, a length at the Baskin. Then came Shiraz, Vow and Declare, El Bodegon, Luna Flair, Future History, So Dazzling, True Marvel. And last of all, coming around the home corner on the first occasion is Alan Kerr. Regal Power joined by Knight's Order, the outside. Mount Popper will get the trail at the Baskin and fourth the inside closer tonight then Cleveland and around that group of horses Fancy Man. Vow and Declare is three wide then Shiraz Luna Flair tucked away the fence from Future History who's three back on that three wide train at the moment. So Dazzling snatches up fourth last then El Bodegon True Marvel and last Alan Kerr. They leave the straight with 1600 to go. It's Regal Power in front by a length tonight's order and Fancy Man is working three wide. Mount Popper the centre at the Baskin fifth the paint. A length and a half Vow and clear he's three wide the nine-year-old but has cover and they were followed by Luna Flair along the inside as they reached the 1400 meters Cleveland between horses and then came out deeper on the course heading towards the bottom turn future history then came in the center Shiraz from so dazzling and then came El Bodegon well back in the field Alan Kerr and true marvel is last regal power 1200 meters to go led the gold cup field by a length and a half and they string out here quickened away from fancy man and they're two lengths to Knight's Order. A length Athabaskan, followed by Mount Popper as the leader tries to stretch them. Vow and Declare is 6-3 wide, spots the speed about 7 or 8. Then came Cleveland and Luna Flair. Next in the field, Future History. A length and a quarter, Shiraz so dazzling. Our bodygon's trying to attach itself to a back of Future History 3 and 4 wide. Then True Marvel and at the tail, Alan Kerr. So it's Regal Power. 650 metres to go. Three lengths in front of Fancy Man. Knight Knight's Order, Vow and Declare getting closer in future history, five deep. Then came Athabaskan, Cleveland, Mount Popper under pressure from El Bodegon. Luna Flair has bailed away on the inside and then so dazzling. Regal Power joined on the outside by future history, Vow and Declare at the 300. Fancy Man boxes on, Athabaskan needs a run badly into the straight. Regal Power goes for home, future history, Vow and Declare wearing it down. Athabaskan can't get out, future history took the front, here's Cleveland right down the outside, Cleveland over the top, Cleveland goes up, takes the lead and wins, Cleveland beat Bow and Declare, future history and a luckless Luna Flair in a photo for four with Regal Power and so dazzling next to finish in the race was uh, Alan Kerr at the Baskin, never saw daylight Shiraz, True Marvel, Fancy Man, Mount Popper, Knight's Order El Bodegon amongst the tail. Cleveland wow, Newcastle based Chris Lees has got this five year old entire to start being a little more consistent Consistent. He's a short of a start in the Melbourne Cup and will be carrying a generous impost of 51 and a half kilograms or an additional half kilo or one kilo pending the handicapper's opinion of his win tonight. Keep in mind there'll be no J-Mac on board. Another honest run from Vow and Declare and it sounds as if trainer Denny O'Brien will definitely press forward to the Melbourne Cup. Future history would lose no fans on that run. As for Luna Flair, I'm not sold on that performance. And at the basket, sheesh, he'd have to be the unluckiest runner in the race. And at 32 in the current order of entry, he will need a lot of runners above him to withdraw for him to make the Melbourne Cup field. Don't miss my latest Melbourne Cup contender video featuring Les Stochka. Not available on YouTube due to them cancelling any French racing I upload. So check the video description for the link to my Rumble or BitChute channel. Check the odds, pick a winner. So yeah, he got a lovely ride, didn't he? Um, so I'll just chime in at the right time. Um, look, he's, he's just taken a little improvement out of every run. We decided to take the blinkers back off today and um, thought he reacted really well. Are you getting to know this horse? Yeah, yeah, look, he's got a few little quirks, but um, he's a lovely horse and really honoured to be training him in them colours and um, great to get a good result for them. Yeah, that head carriage, that's so low in the head carriage that when, when he races, is must be off-putting. It would be, yeah, he needs, he needs his chin as he goes along. But, um,